Hey guys, it's Raj from Leviathan Pits here. Um, here to show you the unveiling of the Terraton 200 at our North Wales workshop on a nice, cold, wintry day. What we've got here, this is the fully loaded model. Got the openable top lid, uh, plancher, stainless steel, grill grates in there, stainless steel grill grates in here, all of the off-road wheels, front steering, um, foldable chimney stack, um, stainless, there's many places you can put it, counterweighted system. What I'm gonna do is give you a quick walkthrough, show you what we've done and why we've done it. So let's start with the first thing. So we've got nice 50 centimeter, uh, 1800 kilo rated off-road wheels there. So um, yeah, more than capable of moving this, but it, it is pretty heavy. So I mean, two people is advisory and it's a little latch system. As you can see, we've got a nice, do you wanna come take a look? So we've got, yeah, a pretty cool movement system here. So instead of the whole axle pivoting, that's uh, it's like a sort of central pivot. And what's great about this is you can get a really nice tight turning radius. You'll never hit in the um, corners down there under the shelves. Yeah, and then just to lock it, just push up, come down, and you're locked. So we've got 30 mil solid stainless steel handles. You can actually, this door weighs about 90 kilograms, uh, but obviously we've got a counterweight system on the back here. It means you can actually lift this one-handed. Uh, it's got some ribs, some um, beef cheek confit going on over there. Inside we've got custom grill grates. These are 10 mil thick uh, stainless steel rods sandwiched between 8 mil and 12 mil laser cut frames. And then we've got all stainless steel hardware that just securely locks everything into place, reduces a lot of additional welding um, and really, really beefy frame, low airflow restriction as well compared to um, standard diamond grates and super, super easy to clean. And then over here, we've got our angled firebox throat. And what will happen here is all the air is gonna be shunted on an angle like this. Some of it's gonna hit here still allowed to um, actually pass through but some small gaps that we've got at the top uh, some of it will go down and under and back up but the majority of it will actually come up the top here and then travel along the pit so if we just look at our temperatures i know i've just opened it but um generally what we'll see is um this one right here will be the hottest because that's where most of your heat's going to come up first and then travel along these two temperature gauges here, we're usually cruising around 250, 275, no problem. Very, very sort of stable and steady temperatures there. This one up here, obviously as heat rises, we have this one usually about 50 degrees hotter than this. And that one can actually sometimes get about 100 degrees hotter than these two down here. But like I said, you're rarely gonna be cooking in that corner, but also take advantage of it, use it for things like wings, you know, anything you wanna crisp up and cook quickly. Um, so you've got you've got a lot of um, lot of options. Uh, you've got about a one and a half meter cook chamber here, and the reason we call it Terraton two hundred two hundred for two hundred US gallons, um, but actually it's closer to about a two hundred and fifty gallon pit because we don't have any sort of side caps on it. These grates run almost exactly side to side from the width of the pit. So on your sort of propane tank style pits, usually sort of about out here, a lot of wasted space, a lot of wasted space. And then there's usually a single sort of, uh, I don't know, you could have two, two doors in the, you know, in this sort of single A pillar in the middle here. Um, whereas obviously we've got this massive monolithic door, um, like I said, it weighs about 90 kilos that, um, but pretty much effortless to open and close due to our counterweight system.
yeah, actually, you've got quite a lot of usable space in here, which is why we say it's a bit closer to a 250 gallon pit, but actually with the footprint of something a lot smaller due to the 30 inch uh, cook chamber diameter. Um, it's all 10 mil thick steel anywhere that comes into contact with heat. This is actually eight mil thick, 160 by 160 square hollow section, all 10 mil, 10 mil, 10 mil. These are six mil thick, uh, three or four stainless ropes. Again, six mil stainless pulleys, sorry, D-rings there. Glow in the dark, tell true temperature gauges. This shelf is also removable and stowable underneath. Um, the reason we've done that is if it was a fold down, you wouldn't actually be able to access any of the uh, lower sections underneath. We've got a nice, I don't know if you can see that, we've got a nice one and a half inch ball valve grease drain there. I like that a bit more than your standard sort of half inch, because if anything does ever get clogged in there, it will just come straight out and won't stop that from flowing. I love this handle design. And what it does, it just lops in, cinches everything in. 20 mil thick stove rope, no leaks out the back. And then to open, just let gravity do its thing. The firebox has got a fire just um, fading away there. Yeah, even that was probably about good for 200 degrees Fahrenheit. And that's our Materia fire basket, also made out of 10 mil mild steel and 16 mil mild bars that are fully removable from the bottom for ease of cleaning. So yeah, just, and again, we're just throwing in logs. You don't have to worry about them too much. I mean, the Materia fire basket, that will just get, look, you can see that already. The amount of air that is feeding that fire, instantly catching. So actually, for a fire that's pretty much dying like that, I mean, you're still able to get about 225, 250 degrees because of just the insane amount of insulation we've got everywhere. The top lid is insulated. Everything around the firebox there is insulated, including the back wall at the back there. The entire door is insulated, even in between these two, you know, even in between the actual airflow vents, we've got insulation. So yeah, this is a seriously efficient pit you're not gonna use a whole ton of logs keeping this thing going and actually let's take a look at the top lid now over the firebox so pretty cool system here just unlatch lift and that will auto lock in like that this top lid actually probably weighs about 80 kilos and you can see not super heavy to lift up due to the way we've got the counterweight springs on the back. And at the moment we've got our stainless grill grates. So great for direct heat cooking, loads of space. You've probably got about 70 by about 50 centimeters of cooking space direct over the heat here and it's fully adjustable so this is on the top level at the moment but we can go one level further down if you wanted a serious sear over the wood fire and obviously you can swap out this top grate for a plancher for smash burgers etc i wouldn't recommend though leaving this in here while you're smoking uh, just because you might end up impeding the airflow into the main chamber so yeah, and when you're finished, just unlock, come straight down, and then latch, and we're good. And actually, this is one thing I haven't talked about, is the airflow options. So we've got the direct air feeding the fire down the bottom. We've also got secondary air inlets at the top, and the purpose of these, and you don't see this a lot, but actually it's, it's quite a cool feature to have, is this will actually draw in cold air, feed it, straight through the pit to keep temperatures somewhat cooler actually in the main cooking chamber but um, also just increase draw into there without spiking the temps in the firebox too much so that will hold 250 275 all day long see with our sort of gear system 
really easy to control and dial in your temperatures exactly as you want. And the thing we like about this as well versus, you know, the sort of normal crack in the door is um, you don't get any heat loss this way. So all, all heat is going to stay in the system and not just escape through a crack in the door. And obviously, as you can see here, if you're on a slope, having a door, you know, for your actual intake won't work very well. I mean, yeah, you can have notch systems, but again, all of the heat loss through the gaps in the door means heat out this way rather than that way here able to keep as much of that in as what you want and just be really really precise about it additional specs in case i missed it earlier we've got we've got the got two d-ring tie down points one just there and one just there so really easy transportation so in terms of pricing we're looking at roughly between 9,000 and 12,000, depending on the options that you'd like. And as we say, all pits are fully customizable. So what you've seen today may not be exactly what you want, but we can build it exactly as you do want it. So yeah, thanks for um, watching the video and being a part of the journey with us as we've been developing all of our products. And yeah, if you'd like to see more of what we're up to, follow us on socials. Um, Leviathanpits.com is the main website. Yeah, and that's it. Thank you.